What's up guys, it's PBK and it's time to disassemble the Moto Z Force. Alright, first thing you're going to do, you're going to remove the SIM tray with the SIM tray removal tool that's provided in the box. Once you got that out of the way, there's two glass panels on the back of the phone which you need to remove. Keep in mind those are glass, so there's a strong chance you can break or crack, crack them when you're taking them off, so be careful. Once you remove those two glass panels which look like this, there's going to be four T4 screws on the bottom of the phone and two on the top. So you're going to have to remove those. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright, once you got the screws off, there's a gold piece on the bottom back. You're going to have to take that out. You can slide and pull away from the housing or the phone. And it comes off. So what's this piece right here? Alright, next thing you'll notice, there's three holes on the back of the phone, two on the bottom, one on top. This allows you to push the screen corners up and away from the frame of the housing. So you can get the screen separated from the housing. So you can put a tool in those holes and press up, which causes the screen to lift up. And then you can put a pry tool, which I use a guitar pick, in between and underneath. And make sure you go all the way underneath the screen not just the top layer. And then you're going to work your way around and make sure you start from the bottom top because on the top it has some catches. Alright, so once you got the bottom and the sides lifted up just slightly pull a little bit down to get the top out. Be careful because the ribbon cable for the screen is still connected to the main board. And you have the inside over here, which honestly doesn't look like many of the previous model Motorola phones I've seen. This looks more of a Lenovo type. All right, so the connectors over here, you're gonna have to disconnect the connector off the board. Here's the screen. And here's a better look at the inside of the phone. Alright, now in order to remove the battery, which I honestly thought would be much bigger than this compared to the previous models. Um, first thing you're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to lift up this tape over here. Once you peel that off, there's a plastic L-shaped piece over here on the bottom right side of it. You're gonna have to pull that away from the housing and it goes a little bit underneath the battery. Just pull that away and slide it out. And that re reveals the connector underneath it over here on the board. You can remove that connector off, just pop it up and disconnect the battery. All right, next. There's a tab up here on the top. You can lift that up. And then you can pull away from the housing so you can separate the battery. It has adhesive underneath it.
So here's the battery. All right, next you have two plastic antenna pieces on the bottom, which pop off like this. Slide them up. Let me show you. And then your volume connector and your power button cable connector is right over here on the side. You just pop it off the board. Here's your main camera. Here's the vibrator. You can lift this up. And then uh, if you wanted to, for example, re replace this back piece, the camera lens cover, you'd have to lift this board up. And then there's three screws underneath there. So those screws look like T3 or T2 size screws. You'd remove those three screws and then you'll be able to pry this part off and replace it. So aside from that, this is pretty much the whole main board piece on the bottom. It's a one piece design, but all the main stuff are on the bottom over here. Your SIM tray and memory card reader are up here. All right, I'm gonna put the phone back together. Let's put the antenna pieces back. We're gonna get the battery, put that back. You press down so the adhesive attaches itself. All right, so next we're gonna put that L-shaped piece back in. Just gonna lift around the battery a little bit so you can slide it underneath. Right here, slide in, pops in. And then you can push it back underneath the frame. Right now we're going to get the screen, we're going to connect it again to the board. Alright, once that's done, you're going to put the top part of the screen in first. Once you got the top in, then you can pop the sides in. And then the bottom. Next, you're gonna put the screws back in. All right, then we're gonna pop that gold piece back in. Slide and push in, and it goes in. And then next, you can put your back glass panels on. All right, now you can power back on the phone. And you're done.